Today, we are making of our Ankara sanders. These are the materials I will be using. Ankara material, soft leather, paper fiber, marco. We are using pipe, armor, slipper sole, buckle, back pin, shoe molder, scissors, turban gun to improve. Now, pick your your slipper so place it on your marco. Use your pen to draw out the shape and cut it out like this one I've already cut out like this. This is what it will look like. Now, pick your slipper so again. Place it on your paper fiber. Draw out the shape of your slipper. But when you are cutting out, now you cut it out in a small in a smaller size of your slipper so like this. Now, what we'll be doing next, add your gum to the inside of your slipper sole. Add your gum to your paper fiber and gum it together. After gumming your paper fiber on your slipper so this is how it will look like. Now, pick your marker. You want to wrap it to the material place your slipper so on your material use your pen to draw it up but when you want to cut it cut it out in excess like this one now we'll wrap this one with our marco add your gum to your marco wrap it with your ankara material After adding your gum to your marco, leave it a little while to dry. Then pick your material, wrap it, use your hand to smoothen it. After folding in your material, this is how it will look like. Now, the next thing is to cut out the the head of your Ankara sander. Now, this is the kind of sander I want to make. From year to year, it's five inches. From year to year, it's five inches. From year to year, it's four inches. From year to year, it's four inches. This one is ten inches. This is where our buckle. We stay. This is our sander rope. We have our buckle. We stay. This is one I've already cut out. You can decide to use any kind of sander, any type of head you want. If you don't want to use this one, you can decide to use your own that you want. But this is the one we are making now. So this is the that this is the ten inches I was talking about. Too. We have our buckle. We stay. And this is the head of our sander. Now cut out this this shape of your leather on your Ankara material like this one I've already cut out like this one I've already cut out you wrap it wrap your soft leather with your Ankara material add your gum you add your gum to your soft leather and use your Ankara material to wrap it After adding your gum, leave it a while to dry. Pick your Ankara material and gum it or add it to your soft leather and fold the excess in. Fold in your material. After gumming your Ankara material on your mouth like this, turn it to the other side. I'm folding your excesses like this. After gumming, this is what it will look like. This is the front and this is the back. Now, pick your slipper so with your paper fiber and your marker wrapped into Ankara material. Before before you add your gum to gum them together, use your tape 
measure from here from the front and get where your two inches is pierce a hole there pierce a hole use any sharp object to pierce a hole there now after pressing a hole you pick the the top of your ankara sander and fix it inside then you'll be needing your shoe molder put your shoe molder after fixing it inside and get where your where the down of your ankara sander will stay like this that is what i will do now after fixing in your shoe molder fixing here before you fix in here remember pipe cut one inches from this pipe fix it before you fix in this the down of your ankara sander then fix, put your shoe molder and fix in the side of your sander if you don't have shoe molder you can use the the size of your leg you can put your leg inside to know where the side of your marker the your, your the side of your ankara sander will stay before you will now go go to your slipper sole now you add your gum to your slipper sole add your gum add your gum to your mark already wrapped to ankara material and gum it together after adding your gum leave it for a while to dry gum your mako after gumming use your armor to eat it use how it to look like now menu to add our where our buckle will stay remember this side will, will cut out from our soft leather wrap it with your ankara material this is where we'll be adding to our slippers to make it our sander. We'll add it. We'll add gum. Gum it like this. We'll be adding this one like this. So we'll wrap this one with our ankara material. After wrapping, this is what it will look like. Now, fix in your shoe molder inside your sander. Get where your rope will stay. Your rope will be stay like this and come here. This side, you can sew it, but don't go. You can sew it or you can use back pin. This is a back pin. You pierce a hole. You press the O here and fixing your fix your back pin. Use your arm to eat it. Then you come here. This is where your hook will stay. Put your hook. Fixing your bag in. When you put your hook, pierce a O there. Then fixing your back pin. And use your arm to eat it. Now let's place it over here. After fixing your your buckle and your back pin, this is how your sander will look like. Our sander is almost ready. Now you can decide you can design your sander with your bow tie, your rose flower, your sunflower. Now, me, yeah, I want to design this my sander with bow tie. Remember, how we made bow tie in our last video. Make a bow tie. Add your UHU gum to your sander and add your bow tie. You, you hold it down to dry. Add your UHU gum. Add your bow tie. Hold it to dry. This is how it to your Ankara sander will look like after adding your bow tie.
This is the finished look. Wow, Ankara Sander. It's good time. This is how your Ankara Sanders look like on your leg. If this is your first time of seeing my video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, My Ankara Nation. Thanks for watching.